as has been noted in the previous video, you will notice that we do have to use this terminal once in a while to get things done, especially things you want to copy from the internet. So let's go over the terminal utilization for a little bit. If I don't know what to do at this point, I can do a shift question mark, and it will provide me with a list of all the, all the uh, basic commands and folders. Once you notice that the, the things in blue, those are folders. The things in purple, those are commands. So for example, let's go to the IP location. Come back down to the bottom. We'll, we'll go to IP. It just happens under the IP. There's a section called DNS, DNS settings. So we'll go ahead and go there. So we'll change the folder DNS. Now we have the DNS settings. Now we'll do a shift question mark. What can we do with it? Well, we can print it and we can export it or we can set changes to different properties. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll print it first of all. So print. It shows you everything about that DNS server. This is that DOH server that we configured. Requires certificates and da da all the rest of the stuff about it. So if you want to get back to root, you simply type a slice and enter. It takes you back to the root of this terminal session. So let's take take this a step further. Let's go to IP DNS and see what our commands are once again. We've got there's a cache section. Let's go to the cache. For, let's go to the static addresses next. So static. Now if we print, we will see all the static addresses that are used as a DNS server. And these are the ones we created for that DOH server. These are IP4 and these are IP version 6 addresses up here. So that's how we use these things. And we can go on and on, but it's the same concept. You have to know what folder you need to go to or what command you need to type. So let's do an export imports there. Execute. There's no export, huh? It's under system, I believe. So let's go down here. Export was clear at the bottom. Okay, it says print or save an export script that can be used to restore configuration. But what are we exporting? We're exporting that, which is basically our configuration of the router. You notice it has all of the all the rules, has the uh, interface requirements. has all the disabled services and talks about system router board settings. So this is basically, it's your whole system if you do it from the system level directory. And go up here to system, system folder. So if you remember from a very early video, from here, we have choices, reboots in red right there. So reboot is how we can reboot the, the router. We've done that before. We've done it before using system and then uh, reboot the router right here. I said, you sure you want to do it? We'll say no. So the, the point is that you can do more things with the terminal than you can with Winbox. But Winbox provides nearly all the features you, a normal person needs to access, unless you want to import some script or something. So hopefully you have a better understanding of the terminal and how to use it, at least the beginning ability to use it. And as we go on, you'll probably learn more from this terminal function.